Will Ferrell is one of the worst comedic actors in all of Hollywood, yet his film Elf is a must-watch for many during the holiday season each year. I think it's time we actually take a look at this movie with a fresh pair of eyes. Elf is a 2003 Christmas comedy, if you really want to call it that, starring Will Ferrell, directed by John Favreau and written by David Berenbaum. First, I want to be clear. I absolutely detest Will Ferrell. The man can't act. The only movie of his that's even remotely decent was Old School, and that was mainly because of the rest of the cast, not Ferrell himself. You're my boy, Blue! Will Ferrell on his own or even with John C. Riley is 100% horrible. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Don't get me wrong. John C. Riley is a terrific actor, but I really don't care for his comedic stuff because he really tries too much to be like Farrell. In order to write the script for this video, I really had to force myself to watch the movie on my own without anyone else forcing me to. This was an incredibly difficult task for me to undertake. It was almost like one of Hercules' Twelve Labors. I feel I should be granted sainthood just for sitting through this piece of crap. I mean, people actually like this movie? I don't understand it. In fact, people actually make watching this movie a yearly tradition. First. Let me say, I can understand the appeal. It's a movie about innocence and Christmas time. It's about a guy who, while a baby, snuck into Santa's bag and ended up at the North Pole, being raised by elves as an elf, even though he's human. 30 years later, he learns he isn't actually an elf and takes a trip to the big city to find his dad, who's on the naughty list, and didn't even know he existed. The synopsis is okay, and honestly, if any other actor portrayed Buddy the Elf, I might have enjoyed it. But Will Ferrell is quite possibly the worst comedic actor in all of Hollywood. Okay, well, I, I just, I don't know if there was anything I could have done to prevent it. So I wrote this while watching the movie, and... I'm at the very beginning when Bob Newhart introduces the film. Already, I feel my blood pressure elevate. The attempt at an old school traditional Christmas movie introduction is appreciated, but just the mere fact that it's an introduction to a Will Ferrell movie seriously makes me want to hurl my brains out into the garbage can. I will say, Newhart did a great job with his introduction and Ed Asner makes for a pretty decent, although grumpy, Santa Claus. You know what? You got spunk. <laughs> well, I hate spunk. <laughs> The classroom scene quite obviously shows how badly this was filmed. I mean, it's quite noticeable that they filmed Feral separately from the others, especially when the one elf looks up at him and he looks down at her. His line of sight doesn't even match up for crying out loud. Then, when Buddy sits on his papa's lap after he discovers he's human, I've seen better special effects in a sci-fi channel movie. I mean, how the hell could someone who's over six feet tall not realize that maybe just maybe he might be a little different from all the other elves who are like three feet tall i mean was this idiot dropped on his head when santa got back to the workshop and dropped his sack on the floor and why does feral have to be so damn loud and obnoxious in all of his movies it's like he knows he doesn't have a comedic bone in his body so he just cranks up his voice and expressions to 11 in order to make up for it one louder. why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder These go to 11. The movie itself would have been a lot better if they got someone like Peter Dinklage to play Buddy. Because I could see how a little person like Dinklage could mistake himself for an elf. You feeling strong, my friend? Call me elf one more time. Which is actually a 
quote-unquote joke in the movie. I understand this was supposed to be a fun family film to watch at Christmas time, but what exactly is so fun about it? I know, I know. Bah humbug, right? I say bah humbug. But from a personal perspective, the best part of the movie, other than the end, was when Farrell got attacked by the raccoon. I only wish it had been real, so that maybe the idiot would have gotten rabies, and we wouldn't have to subject ourselves, or the people we care about, to any more of his ridiculous movies. I will say, I did laugh out loud when James Cant held that erotic little women's Christmas top in front of him. What's that? Intercom. Here's the thing. Could they not have found any other actor to make a fool out of themselves for this movie? I can name like 10 other actors off the top of my head at least who would have been better for the part than Farrell. Johnny Depp would have been perfect for the role. Wasn't that just magnificent? I was worried it was getting a little dodgy in the middle part, but then that finale. <laughs> wow! Peter Dinklage, Matthew Broderick. Seth Green, Jack Black, Mike Myers, Johnny Galecki, Tom Cruise, Elijah Wood, and Sean Astin all would have been a thousand times better than Farrell. I know, I know. Peter Dinklage is in the movie. And in all honesty, when Farrell called Dinklage an elf, it was pretty funny. He's an angry elf. Call me elf one more time. But I think someone else in the role of Buddy would have had me rolling on the floor with laughter during that scene. I will say... Farrell does a really good job at portraying an idiot. I guess that's because he doesn't really have to act at it. He is quite possibly the king of idiots. And some of the things he ate in the movie really made me want to hurl. I did find myself laughing a few times and getting into the movie, but only when Farrell wasn't on the screen. It could have been a really decent Christmas movie, but Farrell ruins it with his over-the-top nature. I understand he's meant to be over-the-top and have a childlike nature, but it seems that Farrell does the same thing in nearly all his movies. It doesn't matter what character he plays. He's constantly over the top and just hearing his voice makes me want to punch him square in the mouth just to shut him up. He's kind of like Melissa McCarthy to me. The first time I saw the movie, I felt sorry for Farrell because he had to act like such an idiot. But then I saw other movies starring him and was like, oh, oh no. It wasn't just the character he was playing. It really made it difficult for me to feel sorry for the guy because he acts like that in nearly all of his movies. And I feel like he's probably the same way when he has sex. He's probably the one who screams and moans and talks dirty and his wife or girlfriend or prostitutes, whoever he's having sex with, whoever is able to put up with him likely just lays there and thinks, where the hell did I go wrong? If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.